what's the most cost-effective way to soil amend? I literally have river, river rock to garden in. Well, co co so here's the thing. Cost-effective, I don't look at these things as through cost effect, the cost-effective lens because the cost-effective lens sometimes just means you're doing it again two or three times. So the best way to amend your soil if you have heavy uh, rock like that is just bring in new soil. Um, if you're, you know, this is where the big difference between commercial farming and homesteading comes. So it depends what you're doing. If you're wanting to commercial farm a river rock site, I would say get a new site <laughs> because the cost to amend all that soil is, isn't going to, isn't going to be worth it. Um, if it's homesteading, well, you can just bring in topsoil onto into raised garden beds and then put a nice layer of compost on top. That's what I'm doing. Cause I've got my new property is not ag property. That's why it was so cheap. Um, that's where you get deals is for homesteading. I'm telling people I'm probably giving away a lot of really free gravy information that I've spent years to figure out, but for homesteading properties, it's best to look for recreational properties, not ag properties. Cause ag pro like, you know, but again, it depends what your context is. I don't want to commercially farm on my shit hits the fan homestead site. I don't want to commercially farm it. If I want to commercially farm, let's say we're in some post apocalyptic scenario and I'm, I'm only out there and I want to commercially farm. I would just, and I was in a community, I would just lease an acreage close by and commercially farm there, but I don't want to commercially farm on my property. That's just where I'm at, but I've got enough. I've got plenty of room and an area up there that I can homestead farm. I've got lots of, I can put trees anywhere. I got to protect them from voles and all that, but that's a minor thing to deal with. And then my raised beds, I'm just going to build up on the rocky, silty, sandy soil that's there, fill them up probably half. They're going to be a foot deep. Um, I'm going to, and just built with fur, just like I did here. Um, and fill them up half with just topsoil that I'll bring in from somebody locally. And that, compost it's probably going to cost me i've priced it out i need i need at least 60 yards up there of so say 30 yards of topsoil and 30 yards of compost so that's probably going to cost me like three grand delivered so it is what it is but that's what you cost that's what it costs to set up so um yeah i wouldn't commercially farm on river rock soil but homesteading just build soil in raised beds that's what i would say